a second there, I thought I was reading a chapter of Kingdom because of all the tactics that were in this episode of Yojo Senki. I mean, the entirety of how the battlefield was shown and how they were encircling their opponent and just surrounding them and taking them down. I'm like, yo, this is why I fucking love Kingdom. Just these tactics and shit. When you just see how the war front is going on and how they outsmart their opponent, take them out and all that, using these just tactics against each other's strategy. It's just so fucking badass. And I was like, yo, even though we already kind of knew what was going on in this episode because the last episode, it was just still so badass to see how much planning they put in to be able to achieve these results they got in this episode. And I was like, bro, this is a really awesome fucking episode. So before we get, uh, go any further, let's just talk about something. So once again, this episode of Yojo Sinki was delayed and... Apparently, it's production issues, so that, that's why this is on a Saturday morning instead of Friday. If you're wondering where Yojo Sinki was, apparently Crunchyroll production issues to the episode. So, I don't know exactly what happened, but the last time we had production issues to Yojo Sinki, it was because the actual studio most likely were falling behind on their series, which resulted in a recap episode. So hopefully this isn't the sign of a potential recap episode in the upcoming weeks. But regardless of that, though, I'm glad the episode eventually came out, even though it was very late at night it finally came out. But it was still a very good episode. It's a great way to start, you know, a Saturday morning. I mean, we already have Tokyo Ghoul on this day. We have a great episode of, you know, March Comes In Like a Lion, and Vendemichon. So, I mean, it's already a wonderful day. So adding in Yojo Senki, it just makes already a great day into an even better day so I guess it, it could have been a lot worse I, I'm just glad Yojo Senki came out but yeah if you're wondering why it was delayed it was thanks to Crunchyroll or something because of you know production issues so there you go if you're just wondering so just doing an FYI so anyways this episode of Yojo Senki it's a very straightforward episode it's an episode honestly i don't think it's gonna take me a long time to really cover like i feel like this video is gonna be short just because of what happened this episode it's very straightforward and i don't feel like it's gonna take me a long time to really discuss everything because of all that happened majority of the episode was basically just showing the results of everything that was planned in last week's episode because last week's episode was planning out you know the attack and how they'll you know withdraw the front line allow the enemy to come in and then as the enemy comes in they're going to wipe out one flank and then they're going to go around flank their opponent and they're going to surround them and then take them out and completely crush them and so we kind of already knew what to expect because of last week's episode but like i said this episode just sh showed the results and how much planning they did which i am glad they did because i mean for one thing I love about series is that when characters put a lot of thought into their plans and you actually see it work out, you don't see some bullshit to where some form of ass pool comes out of nowhere and either they win because of an ass pool or they lose because of an ass pool. And I'm glad to see that the characters actually, everything that was happening was thanks to their careful planning. And I really appreciate how Yojo Sinki did that in this episode. Like I said, even though I knew what was happening, I'm just glad it worked out because of how much effort they put into the plan. And I'm glad you didn't have it to where the enemy just came out of nowhere. It's like, oh, the plan's not gonna fucking work just because of some how this little ass pull here just happened. So I'm just glad. I, I'm really glad the series went down that path. But with that being said, though, let us talk about the situation with the tanks and stuff versus the, the regular infantry on the ground. Like, okay, this is straight up World War II versus World War One right now. Like, what the fuck? Like. The tanks and shit coming out and fighting these guys. I'm like, this is unfair as fuck. Like, this is straight up World War II versus World War One. Like, this is not fair right now. The Empire has World War II tech versus World War One tech. I'm like, oh my god. If this series continues, there probably is going to be a nuclear bomb eventually invented in this series. I'm not even going to joke. That's probably going to happen. That that will probably happen in this series. A nuclear bomb being invented just because this is world war you know the empire is already showing world war ii technology and because of that the possibility of a bomb being made is already likely that that's very likely now if the war continues to drag on so damn just right now the empire are pretty damn op just world war one versus world war war two tech just like i said just way too broken so, let's talk about the Tanya stuff. So, Tanya, 
Once again, her troops, her squad, very badass, going into the battle, just wiping out, you know, the head of the enemy soldiers and all that. For instance, wiping out their, you know, intelligence network where they can't communicate, you know, and tell each other what's going on in the battlefield. And it's thanks to Tanya's squad is to what caused the situation this episode. With them wiping out the headquarters, it caused the word chain of command just crumbled and they couldn't communicate and then everybody just had to retreat because of the situation. So, once again, Tanya's squad... Just showing how awesome they are at getting the fucking job done without fucking it over and just being able to get those results to cause it where everything goes down the proper path of everything that was planned in last week's episode. So with all that being done though and after seeing all the results, Tanya Squad comes under fire by another squad, which the dude which supposedly should have been dead thanks to the light novel readers letting me know the dude is back here to try to take down Tanya, and like I already said, apparently that's anime original content, and I said it doesn't probably really affect the story thanks to the light novel readers telling me, but also just my analysis of what it looks like to the grand scheme of things. It doesn't seem like the dude being alive is going to really affect the, you know, the conclusion of the series or even a possibility of a season two. It's just mainly the re reason why this dude is still alive in, in this episode is to add the final villain of season one. Like, we need a conflict. You need something to where the series can feel like a good closure for season one and so for this dude kind of being here being alive wanting to go up against Tanya it's kind of like he's the final boss of season one so it makes sense why he's still around and it adds that final conflict for the character so yeah but overall this episode of Yojo Senki was a pretty excellent episode I I'm glad it finally came out and I had a lot of fun watching it. I was smiling the entire time while Tanya was kicking ass, while everybody's kicking ass. And I really love that scene when the soldiers were sitting in the trench and all that. He was trying to light a cigarette or cigar, and he lights it and everything just blows up underneath. I'm like, holy shit, that thing just got fucked up. Like, that's just, that's a really good depiction of war, actually. That is a really good depiction of war. Because war and death is just like that. You could just be talking to your friend, and all of a sudden your head just shot off. You're like, hey, man, boom, you're fucking dead. That is a perfect depiction of what happens in war. You can be having a friendly combo, and then you just lie there on the ground, and your blood and brains are just, you know, coming out of your head. So, I, I like how this episode kind of depicted that. Just how characters be con like having combos, and then they just drop dead. It's realistic. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi